Vivian is there with more. Hey Vivian, I'm down here with the owner, VN Corday Shoot. Thanks for having us down You're here. Welcome. How exciting you've been open now. We're hitting just three months today. Yes, we are. Three months today. We opened February 1st. Well, and how has it been for you? It has been a, a wild ride. <laughs> With a lot of people coming in, you have classes as well and yes. workshops that you do. Yes, workshops and three-week classes. And a lot of private parties. And a lot of private parties in the kids' class, and the kids' class gets crazy. All right, so tell me what's kind of going on here. You do a lot of the pottery. This is Pottery Wheel, so we have um, Nina's working on one of her vases, and Megan, I'm not sure what she's making, a planter for VN. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so Lola's just starting her pot and yeah, we just, you start by centering the clay and getting it centered and Megan is going to start bringing up the sides. And for somebody that's like new to art, like me, you really work, you work through the steps for people who are not so familiar with working with pottery. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Like that's what the classes are about is it, they make it look easy. It's not so easy. Yeah. But it's a, it's a process. And how long have you been doing pottery? I've been doing pottery since college off and on. Um, I'm proficient at pottery. Um, these guys are masters. They they do pottery. I'm I can throw a pot, but you know there's a minor, not like this. So yet, as we're talking yet. about the steps, <laughs> you get your clay. You're here spinning it. Then what's the next step from here? Um, they will pull it off, and it goes to the shelves to dry, and that's called it'll become bisque once we fire it the first time in the kiln. And so once it dries, it'll dry about a week. And this is bisqued. This is a pot like this. So it turns this color. Just from sitting here. Once it goes into the kiln, it will turn this color. And this is now bisque, bisque ware. And it's still fragile at this part, but it, now it's ready to be glazed. And glaze, I remember this from art class myself of where you would paint it and get those colors on and yes. then add it back into the kiln. Right, you will either, we, we do dip glazes and we do paint on glazes, um, depending on what, what you want it to look like. And then it goes back in the kiln for another 12 hours. And do you have any that you could show us, maybe any of that you've done that has been glazed sure. as some final products? I'm looking for mine, mine are over here. Check out some of her artwork over here. And then my, my coffee mug, which is called the Funky Mug. Oh, cute. <laughs> That's, so what are the different things that people usually make in the pottery classes? Do you do a specific type of like, we're going to make a vase or we're going to make a coffee mug? Usually a coffee mug or a bowl. That's kind of the starting. If they can get to that, that's, that's a big thing. Yeah. Would have been more of the proficient advanced pieces that you've made? That I've made? I stick with coffee mugs. I like coffee mugs. They're kind of my thing. And, you know, I've done bowls and planters, but yeah. And they're, and I keep it so basic vanilla. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, can't you branch out a little bit? I let those girls do that. Oh, and we're doing a hand building class with Nina. Um, she has um, a tree house, little fairy house that she makes. So we're going to do fairy houses and those are super cool. So I've kind of gotten into that because that hits my sculpture, right? And it's really fun. I've seen those kind of on the trend or even like people making those in like a tree when you're out on a walk, you can kind of see those little fairy houses that are made. Yeah, well, you could, do you want me to show you hers? Yeah. Hey, Let's Nina, see where's your tree house? Oh, it's ready to go into the kiln. So it's finally dry. Okay. And I swear to God, it's half the size it was. And she does this awesome job. So we're going to teach a class on how to do a fairy house. Nina's going to teach it. But they're so fun. And then she has like a little elephant, a little tiny door. So you do still spin this? No, this is hand built. So we're going to teach some hand building classes too. And, and that's where my, like, and she did this one as well, the green man. So and these, these are will hers. go into the kiln. These will go into the kiln. These are her, this is hers too. And you have to hold this, like just, you can feel it. It's really, really smooth. 
And has that gone into the kiln already? Not yet. This really? is and it this will go in. Like that. It will go in, and this will there will be a bisque fire. And the kiln is right here. Yeah, two of them, two Scott kilns, and they are amazing. Wow. I have had to learn how to do, but the keypad makes it so easy compared to what we did in college. I'm sure with the advancement of some of this technology for oh the my gosh, in college, we had to program and then we had kick wheels. It's like you had to kick to keep it going. So wow. yeah, it's changed. Well, thank you so much for having us down here. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming. Of course. Well, we're going to send it back to you in studio, Vivian.